Well, we're back up to the uh, to the property after about two weeks. Um, been kind of busy home, taking care of a few things and and work. Haven't been able to get get up here and work on the well for for two weeks. So we're back this weekend to go ahead and uh, see if we can't get that cap off. And so the game plan is is that I uh, brought my grinder up, my cordless grinder. I'm going to try and cut that cap off without uh, messing up the threads if they're not already messed up. Um, that's my, my hope is that they're not messed up and that the cap is just on there crooked. So I'll take the grinder here and uh, cut it off. If I can't get it off, then I brought my floor jack and bottle jack and I'll try and pull the, uh, uh, the well itself, what I got in there so far, and just put a new pipe on there and but, start uh, over. Let's go ahead and uh, walk over to the wellhead and take a quick peek at what we need to do there. Okay, so here's what we got is the, uh, the cap is still on there crooked. Didn't magically straighten itself out. Um, it looks like the pipe sunk down into the ground a little bit more uh, than I remember it. So maybe it settled some as well. But I'm going to try first to see if I can't get this cap off with the pipe wrenches. And then if not, then I'll go ahead and uh, try and cut okay, it. Okay, well, I just tried to uh, use my pipe wrenches here and reach down in there and see if I can't get that off. But there's, yeah, there's no luck between last time and this time. It's, it's on there pretty crooked. So what I'm gonna do is just take my, my grinder here. Uh, I got a new fresh blade on it and I'll just see if I can't uh, cut that cap off. I'm gonna see what the threads look like and hopefully I don't have to pull this, but we'll see. Okay, well, I've gone through two cordless batteries, and I thought I could get through it with that. As you can see, I'm pretty close, but it, I'm just not getting all the way through, and I was trying to be careful not to cut the threads. I can see where I'm hitting the pipe in some areas here. So, not quite sure. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and... Uh, um, dig dig this out around here far enough down to where I can put a bottle jack on this and try and just pry this off uh, using the bottle jack. So let me try that and see how that works. Okay, I've had some messed up projects before but this one really takes the cake. I'm not sure why that cap's not coming off. I can see where I've cut into the pipe. Um, and so I just put the, my floor jack on the pipe, trying to see if I can't uh, push that cap off. And no, I'm actually pulling the pipe. So I think I'm, if this just keeps coming up like this, I'm just going to pull it. Um, I got to get that cap off and I think I've already gone into the threads of the pipe itself. So if the pipe comes up, if I pull it, um, I just got to make sure that the, it's still connected to the sand point and I'm just going to pull it, pull it up. And I'd like to see if I had water before I did, but maybe I'll find out once I pull it. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and uh, continue doing this. So either the cap's going to come off or I'm going to pull it all the way out. Let's see what happens. Now that I've got this out of the ground <clears throat> about three feet from where it was, I can work on it. But then also looking at it, I see too that the pipe is flanged, it's busted down, it's smooth here, but this is all puffed out. So I'm pretty sure that those threads are um, ruined because of all this um, flanging here. I don't know what you want to call it. 
Um, and then also I noticed here too, I didn't go all the way through the cap. I thought I did. I was, uh, I was hitting on the top here, but that is uh, into the pipe there, or a little bit into the pipe, but I think this is still part of the cap right here, this part right here, I'm not sure. Um, but because I'm using this, this cap to pull the, the well, and I, I don't think I can use this because of, of how this is here, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it and then go get another pipe with another cap and try it again. I'm going to pull the sand point. Um, that pipe is really messed up. So let me show you how I plan on uh, taking this, this pipe out. Um, it's going to take a little while, but you know, perseverance always uh, goes through. If you're persistent with things, you can, you can get things done. So let me show you how I plan on pulling this well. Okay, well, it's taken a little while. I've been here four hours. So between uh, trying to cut the cap off and pulling this out of the ground uh, eight feet, um, it's taken me about four hours. So again, tedious, but persistence pays off in the long run. So what I'm gonna do now is since I know that uh, the joint between the pipe and the sand point is just another two feet past this is I'm going to go ahead and start digging uh, with the shovel and the um, post hole digger I'm going to dig down two feet and originally I dug four feet really quickly so I'm hoping I can uh, dig down to the sand point here and save my hands from doing that jack anymore and then uh, I'll be to the sand point and I should should be able to uh, either continue pulling it all the way or at least get it to where I can get the pipe wrenches on it and take off the 10 foot piece of pipe. Okay, now I'm at a little bit of a dilemma again because whenever I pull the pipe up now it wants to fall back down into the hole and I've taken a stick and try to poke around the the base there as I pull it up so that sand will fall back in and, and fill in but it's becoming uh, kind of hard to hold the pole and uh, pull up on it and poke the sand at the same time I'm here by myself today could have used another hand but I was expecting this to be a lot easier so when I pull it up I can actually see the coupling between the pipe and the sand point so I'm almost there as far as getting it out. Got another, I'd say three and a half feet to the very end. The sand point's six inches down below that where you see the, the pipe going into the ground. But the problem is, is it will not pull up past that joint. I'm not sure why. Um, so just gonna keep plugging away here. I'm, I'm, I've almost got it. I'm not gonna give up now. So I just wanted to give you an update. We're three and a half feet down and got to get it out. All right, well, got it out. It uh, was a challenge, but I'm always up for a challenge. So um, I thought for sure that um, I hit rock or something but just coming up it was this bulkhead right here that seemed to be hosing it up where this is nice and uh, smooth but then come bringing it up I was fighting this lip 
and I really didn't notice that until <laughs> until I got out. The good thing is, is that this is wet. Um, when I brought the pipe up and then tipped it over, tipped it upside down uh, to see if there was any water in it, uh, I didn't get any gushing water, but um, water did come out the other end of the pipe. So, um, definitely have learned a lot on this, and so I will do things differently next time for sure. So let me uh, let me clean things up, and I'm going to cover up this hole. I'm going to put the uh, sand point back into that same hole uh, since I did get water again. Not I don't think it's a lot of water just yet, but I was only down 13 feet. Had another 10 to go um, at most. So um, since I hit a little bit of water, I'm I'm going to keep it here and see how she does. Um, Okay, let me get cleaned up. You know, it was a lot of work uh, pulling that sand point out, but I've got two benefits in doing so. One is I, I've saved the sand point. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and then that way I can go ahead and reuse it when I go to try this again. And two is I've got water. There's uh, some mud from the water in the sand right there. So it lets me know that I'm into water. I don't know how much. Um, I was pulling it out and how much drained out with all the shaking and stuff I was doing on the pole, I don't know. But this is encouraging to know that I've at least hit, uh, hit some water. That's wet for sure. Definitely wet. But some people would have just uh, abandoned it, started over. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of work to pull it, but this is an adventure. This is just part of, you know, learning and and trying to figure out things. This is my first well I ever put in and I've never done this before. There's definitely a lot of things that I'm going to do different when I start again. And I'll share those with you in a little bit. But um, this is all a learning experience. So I hope that you can learn something from my trials and my errors here in trying to do so. But um, I definitely would not be putting in another 10 foot pole I will be putting in five foot, maybe four foot sections so that it's easier to work with. And then if I ever have the problem again with the flange flaring or the, the cap going on crooked and the pipe flaring, I just got to pull it out till I get to that uh, previous section. So this was a mistake trying to put in a 10 foot pole. Definitely do not do that. Put in smaller sections. I just... Uh, was just trying to have less couplings and less failures, but obviously that didn't work. So, but I'm gonna cover up this hole. It's still pretty deep. I was able to dig down there pretty pretty far and finally get this uh, sand point out of the, uh, the ground. But I'll cover this up before I leave, but we have made some good progress this weekend. So next weekend we'll come back and try it again.